Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Divinity Original Sin 2. In this video today, we're going to do the level 6. This is going to be the level 6 setup video so that I can separate this from um, the combat that is going to follow. Um, in tomorrow's video, we're going to do the ridiculously tough harbor fight where we have to take on nine, count them, nine opponents. Yeah, you girls are going to go up against it. You're going to be up against it next video. Um, so let's get ready for that. We have just leveled up. Um, I took the trouble to loot everybody here. Did I load up the rate save? Yeah, everybody's been looted. There was not really anything uh, spectacular from anybody. Um, let's start awarding points. We've leveled up, so we've got two new um, attribute points, one combat ability, and because it's level six, we also get a civil ability point to spend. So let's start with Sabil. Sabil, I want to bump up her damage some more. Watch the damage carefully when I give her more, more points into finesse because um, bows are um, scaled by finesse. So more points into finesse and see what happens to her damage. It goes up and I want more memory slots. I'm a firm believer in lots of skills. Yeah, lots of skills will save your butt on this game. So let's give her more memory slots. That's that. Next, uh, as promised, um, I know I used a necromancer skill in this fight, in the fight in the previous video. And some of you could not use that um, raised bloated corpse skill, unfortunately, because you may not have been lucky enough to get them. Um, what did I get here? Yeah, this scale armor. But as promised, I'm going to put points into necromancer so everybody's on the same page. Boom. And that frees us up from having to use this scale armor all the time. Finally, I want to start building up Lore Master so we can get some intel on people and things. We can already identify um, some low level things, but I like to identify some higher level things and get some stats on enemies. So build up Lore Master. We already get a freebie from the Ancestral Knowledge Elf um, skill. So that's that. That's the deal. Next, Losa. Back to attributes. Losa, I want her to be able to wear Hilder's Plate, which I purchased specifically for this purpose, okay? I want to free up from Meagle's Breastplate. Um, and this requires Strength 11. Meagle's Breastplate also requires Strength 11, but it's kind of like a self-fulfilling attribute, if you will, or requirement, because it also gives you plus one to Strength. So all you have to do is just eat a meal and then put it on, and then it's like, you know, allows you to stay it on, keep it on. But I want to be free from that, and Hilder's Breastplate also is better. So let's put points into Strength. There we go. And let's also give her some more damage. She works with bows and harpoons, both of which are scaled by Finesse. So let's pump some more points into Finesse, and you'll see what happens to the damage here as we do that. Boom, damage goes up. And finally, um, want to keep on building up warfare because this builds up physical damage okay every all the points you put into to warfare there you go physical tax um deal five percent more damage for every point you put into warfare so let's put two more points in there now we got warfare update and physical attacks deal 40 percent 40 percent more damage if you go back here you see our damage has now gone up to 43 slash 50 43 to 50 and finally los uh i want cheap stuff so let's keep continuing to put points in bartering. There you go. So that's all the points spent. Next, um, Sabil, you have some Necromancer skill books that you've been toting around. They haven't been able to eat because they've been tier two skill books. Let's eat them all now. Yum, 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 yum. Auto sort. There's only one of those that I really use on a regular basis and that's Sometimes in effect, but mostly Shackles of Pain. Um, you go out, Death Wish I never use. Shackles of Pain um, I use occasionally. It, actually, I find that very useful. This is a great way to get an enemy off your back. If you got an enemy or enemy right up in your face, cast this on him, and then every time um, you take damage, he takes damage. So what they typically do is they try to run as far away from you as possible. It, it really works. It really is. It's a great way to get an enemy off your horse. Um, leave that there for now. I definitely want Mosquito Swarm and I want First Aid. 
There we go. Let's go down to the skills. Let's drag first aid down here. We're going to have to make a new category here for our necromancer skills. Let's just quickly rearrange everything here. Bring that over here. This is our like miscellaneous skills. And I should have a category for uh, Geomancer skills. Here's our Necromancer skills. The Skeetal Swarm goes in there. Shackles of Pain goes here. As far as Geomancer, I usually like to swap back and forth between Fortify and Fossil Strike. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out that, but leave it there. Put in Fossil Strike, drag that in there. And then I can just switch back and forth between the two and they'll already be here. And I know I don't have the space between the Huntsman skills and the summoning skills, but uh, that's okay. The, the color, co the color um, coding is enough to separate them. Okay, so that's it. Sabil is all set up. Losa, let's take a look at your skills. You now have a new memory slot because it's level 6. Every even level, you get an extra memory slot. We're going to fill that with Skyshot, which she doesn't have yet. We're going to buy that off Butter. So that's about it. Um, let's go to town and do business. I want to make some new weaponry for Losa. We can make some le nice level 6 weaponry. I will need some materials though. Hopefully Naboro's got Naboro's got it happening, got it going on. Screws, bolts, and scraps of metal. The woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Ah, uh, that's what I forgot to do. And what you after? Set stuff as wares. Okay, mm, I don't think I'll be needing this, so that goes the wares, wares, wares. Nobody's going to worry wearing this because we got a better belt. All the buckets go in. All that we're keeping. We can now wear Hilder's plate, so let's wear it. Meagle's breastplate we can sell. Set that bucket as wares. What do we got here? We're gonna make a new harpoon, so we might as well set that as wares as well. And that is about it. Okay, now we can do business. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal. Offer all wares, six hundred and sixteen, that's right. Fitted with five long metal skewers. Let's take a look at our ingredients. <clears throat> Pardon me, you have two long branches, great and a short stick that's great and we'll take that sharp rock too and what the hell we'll take the whisper wood let's take a look at your equipment what kind of ring do you have 23 hp it's pretty good for level six um that'd be perfect for losa who's on the front lines costs a pretty penny but we're gonna have we're gonna be making lots of money henceforth so yeah let's take that comes out almost perfectly. Top that off, boom, and we're done. And what you after? Okay. Who? Somebody's got a new ring. We'll give this to Sabil. Very good. Sabil got a new ring for you. And we're good. Crafting. Let's make some new weaponry. Let's start off by turning those, um, turning that sharp rock into some arrowheads. So that will require a shank, any kind of knife kind of implement, and sharp rock combine. Got three arrowheads. Now we can combine the arrowheads with a couple of long sticks to make some harpoons. And depending on whatever level you're at, um, that's the level of weapon you're going to make. We're both at level 6 now, so it doesn't matter who crafts it. 
Um, take that out. Put two arrowheads in. There we go, two arrowheads, two long branches combined. Boom, and we got a level six harpoon doing 17 to 18. 17 to 18 physical damage, let's do that again. Why two slack? Because um, we're eventually gonna start coming up against undead enemies when we get it over into the hollow marshes. And I would like to have the bonus of poisoning these weapons, right? Let's also make um, a crossbow. I'd like to make two crossbows, but we only have one long branch. Yeah, and um, when you hit an undead with a poisoned weapon, you actually heal them a little bit, according to however much your weapon is poisoned. So I like to have two of each for Losa. Um, one poisoned and one unpoisoned, as far as harpoons and crossbows as well. Oh, Dallas, you maniac. Okay, so that is about it. Um, Let's go buy, let's see if anybody has a long branch for sale. They, I doubt they will, but give it a shot. Also, we want to buy Sky Shot from Butter. We've already pickpocketed her, so we can't pickpocket her again. No long branch. All right, so we're just gonna have to buy Sky Shot. It's gonna cost a pretty penny. There we go. Yep, that's everything. That spear is the spear, the spear of Brachus Rex that we sold earlier on. Okay, Losa. I have a new Huntsman skill for you. Gobble that down. Let's go to your skills. You filled it up, Sky Shot. Um, let's move this guy over here. This guy over here, Sky Shot. Nice. Let's swap you with that one. These are grayed out because she currently has a harpoon on, but when we put um, the crossbow on, they'll become available. This, we don't need a sucker punch, uh, and we're ready to go. Nice and slow. That's it. Let's go poison our weapon. We left our poison, we can, you know, we can just poison it with, um, stuff we have on board, but, um, we left Red Prince with the poison barrel, and, um, I was thinking that was a bad move. I should actually have just dumped it off at, um, a fast travel point, then we could just, like, access it really easy. He is right here. Let's just go get him, make him a member of our party. Um, poison up a harpoon and a crossbow and um, dismiss him. Anybody playing the new Soul Calibur fight game that came out on Friday? I was a huge fan of Soul Blade uh, when it first came out for PlayStation way back in the day. Okay, um, Red Prince. Ready for me to join forces? Yeah, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> okay, and he levels up because uh, he's been out of the picture for a while. Let's just fast travel to. Beach, Fort Joy Beach. Don't go to Fort Joy Square because if you go to, if you're doing this, if you're following this walkthrough and you go to Fort Joy Square and you dump off Red Prince's poison barrel, what's gonna happen is that poison barrel is gonna be marked as stolen property and you won't be able to ask it, access it anymore. So that's why I'm choosing uh, Fort Joy Beach because there's, you know, there's nobody around here. Even here, it's gonna be marked as stolen, but there's nobody around. Um, so, let's poison up the weapons. Weapons. One harpoon. Ingredients. One poison barrel. 
and there we go, we got a poisoned harpoon. One poisoned, one non-poisoned. Now like I said, I like to do the same with a crossbow. Um, I'm going to take a chance, I'm going to come across another long branch before I get out to hollow marshes. So for now, let's make this crossbow, this level 6 crossbow poisoned. What did I do? Put that back, combine, boom, and we got ourselves a poison crossbow. And that's that. Now let's just get Red Prince to drop that poison barrel so that it's here anytime he wants. We don't have to act, we can like access it a lot quicker simply by fast traveling to Fort Joy Beach. And that's it. That's all we wanted you for, Red Prince. Sorry, it's kind of a wham bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. Conversation, but we shall now go our separate ways. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Yes, your we are. Ta ta. There we go. So that's that. Let's get people set up here. Seville's got the shadow's eye. That's the right armor. Don't really have a better helmet. Plus, this will give me a little bit of a bonus. Um, Losa, we're going to start you off with the poison bow. And watch your damage go up even more. Is that before it was at, I believe it was at uh, 47, 46 to 50, now it's at 51 to 55 because of the poison weapon. And if we do go with the non poison version, it's 47 to 49. Crossbow is exactly the same. So this is for her long range, you know, ranged attacks. And this is for like up close and personal. That is it. We're ready to rock. We are ready to rock. Let's go get positioned for the harbor fight. Um, this is Mr. Fumblefingers. He always wants to bring up the map in order to cr in order to fast travel. It's a very unusual um, situation in this game. I, it's pretty much the first game where I didn't, didn't have to use the map to fast travel. Okay, so we can get to the harbor. by just walking out the front door here. So that's where we're going to go. Go into Fort, Fort Joy, because we own the place now. Come on in, girls. Don't be shy. And let's go over here. I see some chump loot here. Um, I already went over all the... Oh, wait a minute. I see some short sticks. Yeah, this is a bunch of low-level stuff. I didn't see any long branches though, in case you were wondering. And we have Captain Triple's key, which will open this up. We got that from blowing away everybody in this area here in a previous fight. That's it, we are ready to rock. We are ready to do the harbor fight. Let's just get the girls closer and I'll show you what's going on down there. There's Gowan, looks like somebody <coughs> murdered him. Wonder who did that. <laughs> Come on, Alyssa, don't be shy. Who's being the shy one? Oh, Seville. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's get them into sneak mode so we can go a little closer. I want to start them off right at the top of the stairs here. And here's everybody that we have to fight in the harbor. All these silent monks. Five silent monks. Magister David, that's six. He wouldn't have done it. And these three individuals here. Nine against two. Yeah, this is going to be a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. And that is coming up next video. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. 
For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.